Hello MUS 2020 students! This is just a quick video to show you how to properly save your classmates drum kits. So I've downloaded the demo kit that I created, the Falcon Grain Kit. It's an ALP and I'm going to double click it. That will open up Ableton Live and it will go through blah blah blah. Okay, preparing installation. It wants me to save this into a folder that I can find it because it's unpacking everything that's in the pack. So I'm going to go to the desktop and tell it to save it to the desktop. Okay. Now if I go through my drum rack, let's see, did it create Falcon Grain Kit? No. Here's why. Let me quit out of there. Instead, it unzipped the project folder. In that project folder, in order to have everything there so that I can actually use the kit that I created in there, I need to have both the ALS file and a samples folder which has imported and a bunch of samples. So now, if I double click that ALS file, that will reopen Ableton Live. I can close that. Okay, and here's my kit. We've got all of the samples. I don't have anything coming up here saying, hey, you're missing samples. If I go to Live, Manage Files, it says the current set is Falcon Grain Kit, belongs to that project. If I Manage Set, there are no missing files. Okay, so now if I want to save this and use it with other projects, what I would do is go down to the kit, click on the save icon and it's going to say what do you want to call it I'm just going to use the default name of Falcon Grain Kit because that's what I called it and it will save it in drum rack and import all of the samples cool cool now if I go to drums and scroll down to F and don't jump past it it should be right there but Let's double check that. I'm going to create a new session. And there's my kit. Is it still working? I think it is. But just to be 100% sure, I'm going to delete those, go back into Ableton. And if everything is going the way it should be, drums and there is my falcon grain kit so that's the procedure you unzip their ALP their Ableton Live project file then that will ask you to save everything somewhere so just save the project to the desktop open their ALS file which is their Ableton Live session Go into there and save the drum rack by clicking on the save icon. Once you've done that, it will ask for a name and it will save it under drum racks. Just save it and then it is accessible. It moves all the samples into your user library and you can use it with any other Ableton Live project you create. You can delete their folder from your desktop and clean it up. Everything will work. Um, if you've got any questions, come to office hours and I will be more than happy to help you out with it. Good luck.